Good morning guys. So I wanted to do another video. I've been thinking about this video all week long. Saturday morning today, I got to sleep in, got up and got my cup of coffee. And I thought I'd record this video. I wanted to share with you what happened to me last weekend. I made a little trip into my local Salvation Army and I overheard the lady when I walked in that they were having to sell a dollar for all clothing items. So, you know, men's, women's, kids, it's all a dollar. So as soon as I heard her say that, I grabbed a basket, threw it on the floor, and started thumbing through the racks. Anything that caught my eye, any colors, any patterns, I just threw it in my basket. So I ended up leaving that store with spending $14 and a huge bag of stuff. I mean, you could literally spend $20 and walk out with 20 shirts. I mean, this is a super deal. So I took home my stuff and I thought about shooting a video during the week to show you how I integrated all my thrift shop finds in with my already existing wardrobe, you know. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to show you the outfits that I put together using the items that I found and bought and also you know I was hoping that maybe I can just inspire one person to take a trip to their Salvation Army or their Goodwill you know or local thrift shop whatever it is and go in there and maybe take a look around and see what you can find you're gonna save some money so you're gonna save some green and you're gonna be green all right here's the first outfit I wore for the week this is what I wore on Monday and the boots are from Target last year. They were $26, something about like that. The dress is kind of like a menswear inspired kind of shirt dress. It has sleeves that can be rolled up and it has like a blue and white stripe and a little bit of ruffle detail here to kind of make it a little bit more feminine. The dress I found out Old Navy for about $26 again. The belt is my thrifted find. I found this at the Salvation Army for $1.50. Uh, clothing items were all $1.00, belts $1.50, so still can't complain. Um, I decided to pair it with a couple of accessories. My basic watch that I got from Target and a couple of bangle bracelets that I got from <sighs> Inker Blue for about $1.50 on clearance. And then um, a vintage ring that I've had. This is the outfit I wore on Tuesday. Uh, I'll start with the shoes. Shoes are from Payless. They were about $25 I think, $24.99, something like that. Um, they're kind of like a little birdcage design. They have a little zipper in the front. And the skirt is from New York and Company. It's kind of like a beige, a really light beige color. Uh, it was about $19.99, $20. Belt is from Forever 21. I think it was about $8 or $9. I bought this here recently too, so it might be able, might be able to still find it online. Um, the shirt is the Thriftum thrifted item of this outfit. It's got these really poofy sleeves, kind of Victorian if you will, and it's you know like all black and it has some detail here like striping I guess a little bit, a little bit of striping down the front. Um, when I put the shirt on I was like wow those sleeves are really, they're really poofy, they're really dramatic. And, you know, I, I was like, I don't care. I love it. And I thought to myself, are Victorian poofy sleeves in right now? And I was like, I don't think they are. But you know what? I don't care. I love this shirt. So, you know, I definitely wore it and loved it. Um, as far as jewelry goes or accessories, I kept it pretty simple. Watch again with the bangles. Since this is silver and my belt buckle is silver, I wanted to throw some kind of necklace on or something. So I chose my um, Anchor Blue Bird that's like black and has silver edging on it. I think this was like $8, $7 or $8, but I bought it at Anchor Blue when it was like buy one get one half off for their jewelry. Okay, next outfit. 
Shoes are from Kohl's. They are from the Candies line. They are fairly recent, so you might be able to still find these. They're just a nude kind of peak toe pump. They're very classic. You know, I think everybody could use a pair of these in your wardrobe because it'll just go with just about anything. They were $26, $27.99, something like that, um, again, at Kohl's. The skirt is not attached to the top, so you can, you know, wear the skirt with other outfits. It's from Kohl's as well. This is from the Lauren Conrad collection. It's kind of like a dusty rose or a nude color. Um, I just like how it moves when you walk. It's so cool. Kind of reminds me of a ballerina dress almost. Or I look at it and I think of Sex and the City and Carrie, that really cute little pink dress that she had in some of the earlier episodes. But uh, this is the Lauren Conrad collection. It does come in black, so if you didn't want to go with the pink color, you could go with the black color. It was about $27.99, $28, something right in there, again at Kohl's. The um, thrifted item of this outfit is the black tank top. A dollar. Um, you know, I am a firm believer you can never have too many tank tops. So when I saw it, I grabbed it. Plus, this one has a, a higher cut on the neck, so it's a little bit more covered up than some of my other ones. Other ones I have come a little bit lower, so I just grabbed it. A uh, necklace, as far as accessories go, necklace is from Forever 21, and I did buy this here recently as well. It was $4.80, $5, something like that. It's a little bird on a circle perch. You're going to see a lot of bird stuff from me because I have a bird. I love birds. <laughs> uh, watch is from, for, no, I'm sorry, Target. It's kind of a gunmetal. Thursday. Okay, this outfit is kind of like sexy librarian kind of thing going on. When I look at it, that's what I think of. Uh, start at the bottom. The shoes are from Target. You guys have seen me wear these before. They have a little bit of ruffling in the front, kind of a peep toe. Uh, $19.99 Target last year. Um, let's see, the skirt is from JCPenney's. It was about $19.99. It's a black pencil skirt. kind of has like pinstripe material or pattern on it. Let's face it, these things are everywhere. You guys could easily find one of these. A uh, belt is from Anchor Blue, and I got it on clearance for $3. It kind of has this little bit of leopard, very faint leopard print going on right there. And then it goes into the black elastic in the back, silver in the front for the buckle. Thrifted item of this outfit, obviously, is the shirt. Uh, again, poofy sleeves. It's very Victorian kind of looking especially with all the ruffling going on here and the ruffled collar up along the back. The shirt is very feminine, very dramatic. I, it begs for an updo, so I just kind of put my hair up in a bun so I could show off the collar because it's just very pretty, very different, very pretty, very feminine. Again, poofy sleeves. And I kept the accessories to minimum just with my watch and a couple of bangles because the shirt... Friday. You know, it's a little more casual or the, you know, the weekend's coming up. So I figured I'd use this outfit for my Friday outfit. Um, shoes are from Payless. They're a few years old, actually. And I think I spent $19.99 on them, something like that, maybe $20. I got them because they were very kind of vintage inspired and I just thought they were so cute. So the skirt is from JCPenney's. I know I have a lot of pencil skirts, but you know, to be honest, they are an office wardrobe staple. You get a lot of outfits out of them. Uh, JCPenney's, 1999. The top is from Old Navy. I'd like to call this my repeat offender because I know I've worn this in another video. But the truth is, is that it's just so comfortable and I, I like it. I don't know why, but I just love it. A uh, belt is from the thrifted item from the Salvation Army. It was $1.50. And as far as the accessories, I kept it pretty simple. 
gold bangles from Ink or Blue and Claire's just kind of mixed up in there. And I added some gold hoops and that's pretty much it for this outfit. All right, here's the perfect Saturday outfit. You know, if you're gonna go see a movie or you're gonna go have lunch with your girlfriends, this is perfect. Shoes are from Target, 1999. I bought these guys last year. If you watch my videos, you've probably already seen them, so nothing special there. Um, skirt is from Paxson. I got it for about $27.99. Uh, I did buy this maybe a year or two ago. However, Paxson always has denim skirts, usually around spring and summertime. They always come out with them. And this outfit is actually kind of a two for one special. The thrifted items in this outfit are the belt and the top. The top is kind of like a light denim. I want to say it's chambray or something like that. I can't. I don't know how to say that word, chambray, chambray, um, top. It's very light denim. It's kind of um, mimicking Western style shirts. It's got the little pockets on the t up here and then the white buttons, which are kind of like pearlized and they're snap buttons. It is a long sleeve, but I chose to roll it up. It's still pretty warm here. And it does have the little button tabs. So you can hold the sleeve there. And it's a normal like blue collared shirt all the way up. And I just kind of left it loose like that. And I tucked just the front part in and left the back part and the side, side parts out to make it look a little more relaxed. I guess you could tuck it in all the way around too if you wanted. Um, the belt is the other thrifted item of this outfit. It's actually from Eddie Bauer. The tag is still on it. It was $28 and I got it for $1.50. It's got this really cool brass buckle and it's made out of like a jute and stretchy material. So it's got some elastic in there and it's very stretchy. This is one of those belts that you could definitely wear a lot lower on your waist than others because it's just so stretchy. Um, as far as accessories go, I kept it pretty simple. Added my ring from Hot Topic. It has like little bullets on it. And it kind of mimics the belt. Let's face it, it's one of those days that you really don't want to think about what you're going to wear. But a lot of times if you're heading to church or something like that, um, you know, you might need to get a little dressed up. Here I'm just kind of showing a very casual laid back outfit. Um, I'll start at the bottom. Flip flops are old navy. You know, you buy two pairs, they're like two fifty each. <laughs> so two pairs for five dollars. I tend to stock up on these guys. They're in the summer and spring. Um, for the outfit, the jean shorts are actually a DIY project. So if you want to see how to get some jean shorts like this. I'll go ahead and put the link in the information box down below. Um, the thrifted item in this outfit is actually the top. I love this color. That's what caught my eye, the color. And as soon as I pulled it off the rack and I saw that it was a wrap shirt and I saw the details on it, I was like, I have to have that. It's so pretty. I mean, I can't, I honestly cannot believe somebody gave this away. Again, the top was a dollar. It has some really pretty scalloped sleeves on it. And it is a wrap top, which it's actually like um, a little big on me, but I can pull it tighter if I want to. So it gives you that little bit of, you know, you can make an adjustment to it. Um, again, it's very, it's very light. It's a cottony material, very flowy. It has this band right around the waist, which it actually goes all the way around like that. The little tie is right here. Again, the color, I love the color. As far as accessories, I used my necklace that I got at, I think it was Claire's, probably a few years ago. And I think it was probably around seven or eight dollars. It kind of imitates turquoise, like, there are little blue beads on there and some of them have like little lines like they're trying to imitate turquoise. It's totally fake.